Super stale. Oh my gosh. Hey everybody, it's Overdrive and welcome back to Hot Wheels World Race. In today's episode, we're going to be tackling the Elite League. So we've so far we've completed the Rookie League and the Veteran League. We got every pickup in every single race in the Rookie League, but we we're unable to do so in any of the races in the Veteran League. So that leads me to believe that in the Elite League, we also won't be able to get 100 pickups on any of the races. But that's totally fine because after this episode, we're just going to have another episode where we go back and get any pickups that we missed um, using some of the secret cars in the game like Kurt's spy car and some other cars. Um, but for now, we're just going to try and tackle the Elite League um, with none other than Deora 2. So this car has some, you know, pretty average speed. Um, the grip is good for the speed. Um, and pretty good in general and then the acceleration is pretty good and then the boost is also good but I mean yeah again boost is not really a stat that matters in this game but I mean with the stats that we have I don't think I'm gonna mind it too much although I would prefer if the speed was higher but yeah so maybe Vert got the short end of the stick on that one but while well, same in Hot Wheels Unleashed he also got the short end of the stick <laughs> with the DR2, but um, yeah, so we're gonna do DR2 and we're gonna see how it goes. So with the uh, magic of video editing, we're just gonna skip through the uh, veteran league courses basically. So see you in a second. This is the first race of the Elite League. This is Lava Twists, and we only need six or better to uh, pass this one. So, um, so right off the bat, new Elite League courses starting off super easy. Um, though I do believe the last few may be pretty difficult in terms of uh, your placement that you need to get, but um, yeah. So this is another course, um, there's similar theming to uh, Miss Mountain, basically. Um, although I prefer Miss Mountain, um, mainly because of all the jumps. That's pretty much the only reason. Um, that's why I've always loved Miss Mountain, it's just like, it's literally like jump after jump. <laughs> just like constantly. Now this one, as the name implies, there is quite a bit of twists uh, more than the other tracks for sure uh, another one right here uh, you know it's got its twists and turns and twists and turns and maybe a loop here and there it might be the only loop it's also got this weird split path just symmetrical so yeah that doesn't really mean much uh, yet another split path so that's kind of what this one has it has like a few split paths Again with the twist. Another twist. Oh, nice, they got the shortcut. Ooh, okay, almost did too many there. <laughs> and we got that shortcut too. Oh, I almost didn't get up there. Actually, never mind, that's not really a shortcut because it's actually a bit slower. I've always kind of wondered like, every time there's like a small wall ride off to the side, is that always slower? than just going normal because honestly I'm not 100% sure like with some tracks I go up at the wall and I'm like maybe that could be faster than just going the normal path but I feel like most of the time it's probably slower to go up the wall um, okay it looks like going that way was not what I should have done I don't know if th which one was the shortcut or if I don't know what the deal is, but I wonder if we have any chance of getting the pickups in this one. Could be possible. I mean, we're at, uh, well, we have to go this way. Yeah, because I keep going the same way, so I'm not going to get the other pickups on the split path. Um, but I mean, 65 isn't too horrible. 
We're actually going to go this way in case there's pickups. And there is, but I missed one. That's bad. I think... Oh, yeah, we missed him here, too. Okay, this is definitely a hard course for pickups. Because I don't think it's possible for me to get all of them now. Because there's two simultaneous routes I would need to take. And... Unfortunately, my car can't be in two places at once, although I wish that were possible. <laughs> uh, we're in third, because we keep usually going the slower way. I mean, that time it was on purpose for pickups, but... Oh, okay, I forgot about that tight ramp. You have to take that tight, because you can't really see the ramp coming in advance. Um, I would like to get first. It's not... Obviously not required for this race. We'll go right this time. Doesn't matter. Man, I really can't catch up to them. I mean, I don't think my speed is quite enough. We're going to hit all the boosters. I'm r I really can't catch them. I mean, I might not be driving, like, perfectly. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, so I'm, I'm running into the to the guy in front of me. I'm not going up there. We got the boost, or the uh, the uh, fire effect. Isn't the ending like right up here? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. That was, that was pretty close. That was a 36 uh, millisecond. Or whatever the time measurement is. <laughs> um, but with that, we have actually gotten first on every single race so far, giving us an astounding 165 points. Um, so that will possibly pass 200, I think, if we get first on the, all the next ones. Um, and we got So Fast, a classic, and the stage. But we didn't get either of the gallery items. I think you get one gallery item for 50 pickups, and then... No, 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 wait, no, that can't be right. I don't know, I think it's for beating certain times, but honestly, I don't know. On to the next one. Okay, we have Pyramid Run. And we just need 6th place to continue. So... <laughs> this one's gonna be pretty simple. Yeah, come in 3rd or better with 50 pickups to unlock a car. Okay, so... 3rd or better with 50 gets you the car. And then there's 2 gallery items you can get from each course, I think. One is for beating the best dev time, I think, and then... I don't know how the other one uh, is earned, but... Whatever. This is obviously the other desert track, or dune rats track, whatever you want to call it. I remember pretty much nothing of this one, for some reason. <laughs> I don't remember ever going out of my way to play this one, like, ever. I just remember it being, like... This is, I think it's, I remember it being on the more difficult side, but... Yeah. I just remember, like, some annoying parts with, like, turns, maybe. Um, but yeah, don't remember much. Wow, that guy just <laughs> zoomed past me somehow. Um, we got a ramp coming? No, we got a... I'll take it. So I can get full nitrox. And they unlocked this. Oh, we're good. This one definitely has a few paths here and there. Uh, like most of the uh, later courses. I'm assuming this is the faster way, because... Yeah, because they're going this way too, so... Actually, that I don't know if that was... That kind of felt slow compared to what the bottom route was, which was like just straight, but... Trying to, there we go. <laughs> okay, so when you activate the flames, apparently you get a big boost out of nowhere. <laughs> I never quite realized that until... Oh my gosh. <laughs> These turns are not fun with the, uh, the flames activated. <laughs> I mean, they're not fun anyways, because with Dara 2, I mean... Eh, I kind of wish the handling was better, but whatever. But yeah, I was, I was by the Roger Dodger, and I just like boosted ahead out of nowhere, and I missed that boost. So that sucked. And yes, I realize I'm kind of bouncing off the walls, but depending on the turn, it might actually be faster to do that, even if it looks dumb. 
It may not be the vert approved strategy, but it's the overdrive approved. <laughs> we're going this way because they're not going this way. I feel like that boost pad slowed me down. <laughs> Let's go this way this time. Because see, they have to go up and then around. But this one just goes straight. So I feel like it's faster. Oh. Okay, I, yeah, that was definitely faster because I passed them. But yeah, I hate when the tracks do that. <laughs> they like... If you get the Nitrox jump, then you just go straight forward. But if you don't get the Nitrox jump, then you have to deal with like two curves. They do that in like multiple tracks to punish you for not uh, having the full Nitrox or whatever. Uh, placement doesn't matter on this one, so we should be pretty good. Finish line is probably coming up soon. That was a bad bounce. I might actually get last on this one because I'm not. Uh, I'm going to go straight. I might be able to pass a few here. Where's the finish line? Oh my gosh, why do they keep... Okay. Oh, it wasn't perfect? <sighs> that might be costly. That might be costly. Uh, yeah, I have to go this way to get ahead as much as I can. That was a really good section right there. I didn't even hit the walls with those crazy turns, but that's the end. Oh, okay, I got fifth. I didn't get last. I didn't get last. I can officially say I did not ever get last. <laughs> Because I passed the uh, whatever it is at the end. <laughs> I forgot what that car is called. <laughs> um, yeah, I just couldn't quite hold myself that race. So we got three points. Um, although the person in second, the Roger Dodger, has literally zero chance of catching us, luckily. Um, so I'll take it. Uh, for that one, we got both gallery items. But yeah, we did not get the car, obviously, because, yeah, the pickups. Submerged city and for this we need six position or higher That's really weird that all of these are like six position. <laughs> I remember there being like way more difficult like Third or higher like multiple times in a row. I don't know if it's randomized each time or or how that works Maybe someone in the comments can tell me uh, How that works Or maybe certain tracks have certain points. I honestly don't know But yeah, regardless, we are doing perfectly good right now, despite the 5th place finish. I remember this one being kind of a more high speed track. Okay. Twist. Oh, I remember hating that turn. Okay. That's kind of like the same uh, split path from the end of Deep Zone. Uh, let's go right. I like the visuals on this one. Like, the visuals are really good on this track. And then there's that part where you have two, like, parallel pieces of the track. And you see the other one when you're in midair. It's just, like, really cool stuff, honestly. And then you got those two small aerial moments right there. <laughs> okay, we're cutting this guy off. Except <laughs> we're slowing ourselves down in the process. We're just trying to ruin everyone's time here. Whoever said the people in the world race had to play nice, okay? Playing nice is not how you win. <laughs> Let's try and pass this guy. I think we got him. Yep. Good turn, pretty good. And finally we're in first, but we'll probably lose it at this turn. Maybe. Possibly. Nope, we're good. Uh, let's go this way this time. 
Because why not? Oh, I just used my Nitrox because I thought that was the jump. Like, part of my brain was telling me that was the jump, but part of my brain was saying that was not the jump and something. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. But yeah, I thought that was the freaking jump because of the blue. The, <laughs> the huge area of blue on the ground, but I'm just dumb, apparently. We got some speed built up to pass them. Doesn't matter anymore, because now we're equalized. Let's go up here. Why not? I mean, this track is just impressive. Like, visually. Like, I just... I just have to keep saying that. Like, what the heck? I am so confused right now. Like, what the heck was that? This track is literally... So impressive. Even from, like, a design standpoint. Like... Imagine having to plan out and then create this track. That's kind of the part that's most impressive, probably. Let's go this way again, except to actually get the jump. Uh, we'll go forward. Good, it's not stale. And we got the perfect landing and the flames. Little aerial moment right there and here. We're not too far behind, but... Oh! But we should be good for this first place. I believe. This is the ending. Okay. A little bit of a lead there at the end. So, we got our 15 points, which brings us to 183. And then, uh, what did we get? We got backdraft and one gallery item. So, on to the next race. Okay, this is Ice City. Um which appears to be the second to last race um, in the entire game, actually, because um, we're in the Elite League. So uh, we're going to check this one out. I also remember this one being uh, one of the more difficult ones. Um, maybe not too difficult, though. It's, it's honestly possible that Glacier Edge is more difficult than this one, but um, I don't remember entirely. Last of the ice theme tracks, and then next one is the jungle level. I think vast jungle, because the first one is Emerald Crater, I think. And then the last one is vast jungle, so yeah. Which I've always had trouble with, so that'll be a fun one to end on. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to how they chose the tracks for the leagues, because. Honestly, it seems kind of random. I've never really tried to see if there's like a pattern to it, but one of the jungle levels is at the start of Veteran League, and then one is at the end of Elite League, and then there's two space levels really close to each other. So I'm curious if they like just completely randomized it, um, or maybe they just put them in order of difficulty of just how they made them, but I don't know. Just pretty random. Oh, double split path. I used Nitrox there, even though that wasn't a Nitrox jump, and I hit him. So that was just perfect. Okay. Let's try and get this. Don't hit him in midair. Oh, I didn't get the... Or maybe I, maybe I did get the Nitrox jump, okay. But they're going up there. I don't know if that's faster. We're going to find out. If we see, like, an entire convoy passing us later, <laughs> uh, then that's when we'll know. Oh, boy. I don't think I went there yet. Oh, my gosh. Okay, there's so many splitting paths. It says I'm in first. I don't know if they've all converged yet. Uh, I don't see anyone. I might be out doing my own thing right now. Oh, I think I saw... I think I saw someone. <laughs> I don't... Maybe I'm ahead right now, actually. I don't know. Like, by a lot. Oh, I just stalled that. 
Eh, it doesn't matter, because they'll get the... Or maybe they won't get the shortcut, because I don't know where the heck they are. Well, this one unlocked. Uh, I kind of wanted to go that way, because I don't know if I ever went that way, but... Um, this path worked out last time, because it seemed like the other one was slower. But we'll go this way this time. I'm just kind of mixing it up, uh, considering I'm, like, pretty far ahead. At least it seems. Not seeing anyone still, but... Oh my gosh, what was that? And we used the Nitrox and it did nothing. <laughs> Thank you, Nitrox. <laughs> Nitrox squared, the patented boost that literally does nothing. Gotta love it. Oh my gosh, I could barely see that part right there. That was weird. I knew it. I knew that'd be stale. I might get past you at the end. Oh... This is going to be not good. But we took the second right at the last second. <laughs> oh, man, we beat him by a ridiculously small amount. <laughs> so we're beating our past self right there because that was a power pistons <laughs> from last episode. Ah, uh, geez. So we got 12 there. That's leading to 195, which is... Um, you know, uh, this next race is going to lead us past 200 total, which is nice. So we got the 24-7 and a gallery item. So, on to the final race. Okay, yet again, I only need six to continue. Um, and this is it. This is Vast Jungle, the final race. And I think I kind of just realized that maybe the position needed to continue just, um, is calculated by, like, if your overall score is low enough to where like the third place uh, CPU can beat you or something like that. Um, I don't know. I haven't 100% figured it out, but that's kind of what I'm realizing. That might be the case, but uh, regardless, um, smooth sailing for this last course. Um, but I'll definitely try and do my best here. Um, I've always sucked at this track. <laughs> Like, always have sucked at this track. In fact, I think I actually recall losing an Elite League run, or an Elite League run, when I was younger, to, uh, to this level. Which, <laughs> you can imagine, is pretty awful. <laughs> it's because, like, the Elite League in total probably takes, like, an hour and a half or something around there. So if you literally fail on the last course and you have no more retries, which is what happened to me, then you will probably throw your controller across the room and then just, like, give up. <laughs> I mean, not to say I actually... Okay, that's... <laughs> okay. Okay, not to say I did throw my controller, but maybe that's what someone would do. I... <laughs> Get the turn there. Oh, we did the wrong button combo, but we had enough time to fix it. That's the first time that came into play, where I actually messed up the button, and then I still had time to redo the combination correctly. Yeah, this one is... Oh my... <laughs> so if you barely turn into the like side of the track with the arrow 2, I don't know if this is... How many cars this applies to? Oh, of course it's stale. But it seems like you just like bounce off like super weird. But whatever. We'll go up here, why not? Because we need the full nitrox. I would like to get first on this last one just as like a final send-off. Oh! Super stale! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Super stale. Okay, well, now you guys get to see what super stale looks like. Um, 
basically the way you see that is by sucking at the game. Um, and then you unlock that secret message of super stale. So yeah, just suck at the game and then you're good to go. <laughs> okay, I thought that was the third lap for a second there. Uh, let's do a roll. I'm literally... Oh, that wasn't perfect. That's why I hate rolls. That's why I hate rolls. They're so hard to land perfect. So here we can do a front flip. No, we can't. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm riding on the freaking Suzuka. And I'm hitting every wall imaginable. So this is not my best race, and it's not my best track, but somehow I'm in fourth. We're going to go low. Um, that did not really help us catch up. This is actually not going to be too good if we can't get something here. Uh... Oh no, oh this, oh my goodness gracious, this race is very, very over. This race is sixth place, this, yeah, this is sixth place. A-Y. Oh, we are definitely screwed, that's got to be the end wreck right there, isn't it? Uh, uh, okay. I'm just hoping this route is somehow faster. Oh, no way. Yep. Okay, that's six. Wait. Wait. The finish line was... We got fifth. We got fifth. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I thought the finish line was a little bit earlier. I actually almost, like, let go of the A button to stop. Oh, my gosh. We barely passed the poor Suzuka right at the end. Every millisecond mattered there. I can't believe that. I know that might seem ridiculous <laughs> that I even care, but that's actually hilarious to me. Okay. We never got last place in this run. Okay. In this playthrough. Oh, but we didn't get 200. Okay, now I'm upset. I'm upset. Okay. Well, those are the final standings after freaking, what, 15... 16 tracks um, Second place 153 and we had a tie for third and a tie for uh, fifth, but um Yeah, dang it. So th that stunt at the end really screwed me up. I totally Just was flying all over the place and the game did not respond me for a stupid amount of time you know, I played the last leg. everything after the failed stunt. I played pretty much perfectly which got me fifth, but still, like, um, yeah, that stunt really screwed me over. I, I, I don't remember exactly what happened. I think I did a roll that sucked, but we got two gallery items, and as you can see, we did not have to use our retry. Actually, we could use our retry to try and get 200 points, but I don't think I care that much. And also, it would be hilarious if I retried and then got sixth. So then I did get last, but regardless, we're going to accept the results for what they are. And we are just going to finish that up because that is the elite league. And I don't think we got hundred pickups in any of the races. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, um, in the next episode, we'll have to go through some of those tracks. Um, I may have to speed up certain parts of that episode to, uh, you know, to uh, accommodate for the time because we don't want like a two hour long episode or whatever. It's not going to be that long, but um, there it is. Congratulations. You have completed the Elite League and won the world race. You are the greatest driver. So that's what I like to call the canon ending, um, considering what someone in the comments said. Um, that's why I played the DOR too, because it just kind of made the most sense for the, uh, for the Elite League video. So that is the Elite League. Uh, next episode, we're going to try out tons of the secret cars, and we're going to get all the pickups, and I'm going to show off the uh, all the 100% like gallery items and whatever, and that's going to be the series. I think it should just be one more episode, possibly two, but probably just one. So, um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you some other time.